In the lecture on acid-catalyzed hydration of alkenes, we have learned that it can be used to achieve Markovnikov's addition of water across carbon-carbon double bond. The utility of that process is somewhat diminished by the fact that carbocation rearrangements can produce a mixture of products. In cases where protonation of the alkene ultimately leads to carbocation rearrangements, acid-catalyzed hydration is an inefficient method for adding water across the alkene. There are many other methods that can achieve a Markovnikov's addition of water across an alkene without carbocation rearrangements. One of the oldest and perhaps best known methods is called oxymercuration demercuration. To understand this process, let us explore the reagents employed. The process begins when mercuric acetate dissociates to form a mercuric cation. This mercuric cation is a powerful electrophile and is subject to attack by a nucleophile, such as the pi bond of an alkene. When a pi bond attacks a mercuric cation, the nature of the resulting intermediate is quite different from the nature of the intermediate formed when a pi bond is simply protonated. When a pi bond is protonated, the intermediate formed is simply a carbocation as we have seen in acid-catalyzed hydration lecture. In contrast, when a pi bond attacks a mercuric cation, the resulting intermediate cannot be considered as a carbocation because the mercury atom has electrons that can interact with the nearby positive charge to form a bridge. This intermediate, called a mercurinium ion, is more adequately described as a hybrid of two resonance structures. A mercurinium ion has some of the character of a carbocation but it also has some of the character of a bridged three-membered ring. The more substituted carbon atom bears a partial positive charge, delta plus, rather than a full positive charge. As a result, this intermediate will not readily undergo carbocation rearrangements, but it is still susceptible to attack by a nucleophile. The attack of nucleophile takes place at the more substituted position ultimately leading to Markovnikov's addition. After attack of the nucleophile, the mercury can be removed through a process called demercuration, which is generally accomplished with sodium borohydride. There is much evidence that demercuration occurs through a radical process. The net result is the addition of H in a nucleophile across an alkene. Many nucleophiles can be used, including water. Consider this alkene is treated with mercuric acetate in the presence of water. The first step would be mercuration of double bond to form mercurinium ion. This will then be opened by nucleophile water on more substituted end to form organomercurial alcohol, which upon treatment with sodium borohydride, removes mercury group with hydrogen. When the same compound is treated with mercuric acetate in the presence of ethanol, the mercurinium ion will be opened by ethanol to form an ether, called organomercurial ether, which is then treated with sodium borohydride for demercuration. When alcohol is used as nucleophile, it is called alkoxymercuration demercuration. Thus many nucleophile can be used to open the mercurinium ion and form products accordingly. In nutshell we should remember the following important points about this reaction. 1. Oxymercuration demercuration of alkenes achieves Markovnikov's addition of water across carbon-carbon double bond without carbocation rearrangements. 2. The intermediate is the bridged three-membered ring called mercurinium ion. 3. The addition of Hg and OH occurs in antifashion. 4. Any stereochemistry set up an oxymercuration step, that is Hg and OH anti-arrangement, is scrambled by demercuration step. 5. Therefore H and OH group may be cis or trans to each other in the final product. If the free rotation is restricted, then H and OH will be anti to each other in the product, 
That means, stereochemistry of Hg set up an oxymercuration step is not scrambled, say for example we have 1 methyl cyclopentene. The first step will be off course mercuration to form mercurinium ion. Notice that methyl and hydrogen have been shown above the plane because three membered mercurinium ring is shown to form down the plane. This can also be shown other way, where methyl and hydrogen are down the plane and three membered ring above the plane. Thus, the mercuric acetate electrophile can approach the planar alkene from above or from below, as we have learned in hydrohalogenation of alkenes. This mercurinium ion will be opened by nucleophile on more substituted side, no doubt about that. But since in this intermediate, the mercurinium ring is shown down the plane, the nucleophile, water or any other, will approach from the opposite side. That is, above the plane. In doing so, the methyl group above the plane will be pushed down the plane when the ring is opened. Thus mercuric group and nucleophile are trans or anti to each other. This is then reduced with sodium borohydride to replace mercuric group with hydrogen, without disturbing stereochemistry, to form the product, in which nucleophile, methoxy group and H are trans to each other. Consider the oxymercuration demercuration of 1-pentene. The first step, off course, will be the formation of mercurinium ion. This will be opened on the more substituted side to form this organomercurial alcohol, which is then treated with NaBH4 for demercuration to replace mercury group with H. In the same way consider oxymercuration of 2-pentene. Again the first step is formation of mercurinium ion. Now second step is opening of this mercurinium ion on more substituted end. But in this case the three-membered mercurinium ion is substituted by one alkyl group on both ends. Therefore water can open this mercurinium ion on either side to form two intermediates. Each of these will then be demercurated by NaBH4 to form products. Thus oxymercuration demercuration of 2-pentene gives two products which are positional isomers. Now let us predict the product for these reactions and compare the products if an acid catalyzed hydration had been performed rather than an oxymercuration demercuration. In case of this compound, the oxymercuration will give this organomercurial alcohol in which mercuric acetate group is on less substituted end and hydroxyl group on more substituted end. The mercury group is then replaced with hydrogen in the presence of NaBH4 to form secondary alcohol as product. Now let us see the product formation via acid catalyzed hydration. The first step will be protonation on less substituted side to give more substituted secondary carbocation in accordance with Markovnikov's rule. This secondary carbocation can rearrange via 1,2-methyl shift to form a more stable tertiary carbocation, which can then be captured by water to form this tertiary alcohol as a rearranged product. Notice the difference in the products obtained by two methods. Acid-catalyzed hydration operates via carbocation rearrangement while as rearrangements are not possible in case of oxymercuration-demercuration route. This is the major advantage of this reaction over acid-catalyzed hydration. In the similar way, for this second example, oxymercuration forms this organomercurial alcohol with hydroxyl group on more substituted end as expected which is then treated with NaBH4 to replace mercury group with hydrogen to form secondary alcohol as product. In contrast, the acid catalyzed hydration in accordance with Markovnikov's rule leads to formation of secondary carbocation. This carbocation rearranges by methyl shift from adjacent carbon. To move the positive charge on later, and form more stable tertiary carbocation. 
This is then captured by water to form tertiary alcohol as rearranged product. Notice the difference in the products obtained by two methods. Therefore in this case, if we need secondary alcohol as product, the acid catalyzed hydration will be a bad choice because it will give tertiary alcohol product via carbocation rearrangement. Consider this last example, the oxymercuration gives this organomercurial alcohol, which is treated with NaBH4 to form tertiary alcohol. The acid catalyzed hydration will form tertiary carbocation upon electrophilic addition of proton in accordance with Markovnikov's rule. This carbocation has no option for any rearrangements to form more stable carbocation of any sort. Therefore it will be captured by water to form the same tertiary alcohol product as obtained in oxymercuration demercuration. Therefore if the substrate is not prone to carbocation rearrangements, both methods will give same product.